Now let's see this petition. Can I get Olga, Vukovi Olga Vukovic from wemove.org to join me? DiEM is launching the petition, but you're doing it obviously with partners. One of them is wemove.org, which is a pan-European petition platform, and one that I believe shares many of our ideas that we have been discussing this evening. Olga, tell us in a second why you're doing this. One second. Ooh. Um, so, quick note, it's wemove.eu. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> released this, Rechko, have you I? You haven't been dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> And first, give me a hug. Olga and I know yeah. each other since many years. Very many years. And we've worked <laughs> together in different capacities, and I'm really delighted to have you here now. And I'm very happy to be here. You've stolen her second now. <laughs> yeah, all gone. Um, so, yes, I am, as Lorenzo said, I'm here on behalf of wemove.eu, uh, not .org, um, because we're a European organization, and we are um, hosting DM's very first campaign on our platform this evening. Um, and I just wanted to take uh, a little bit of time to tell you uh, why it's also important that they're hosting the platform with us um, before launching into the official first signature of the petition. Um, so WeMove.eu was born, as I think many other organizations here this evening, out of a complete desperation of the state of affairs in Europe, but also out of the knowledge that people power can and will make a difference. Um, so the way that we work is we harness the power of online organizing, um, and we combine that with the increasing need on behalf of Europeans to... Um, make sure that the people who are taking decisions in our names um, do that with us in mind and not with the corporations and not with the banks and not with the lobbyists. Um, and so I think for a lot of us in this room tonight, maybe being active for Europe, um, for a more democratic and fair Europe is probably second nature. But for a lot of people, it's actually really difficult to get engaged. And so when we're dealing with a topic like transparency in decision making, I think the average person says, how, how could I have an impact on that. So what we do is we allow people to get engaged with a single click, which for many people opens up a whole new world of powers, um, and then they increase their engagement, and that's how we build solidarity. And here is the petition, right? Yes. So, okay, so to get to the petition, um, this is the text. Um, it's offered in different languages. Um, I was talking about people power before. The more of us that there are, the stronger this petition will be. So after the first official signatory, which will be Yanis, the petition will officially be launched and live, and you're all invited to sign it, to share it, and spread it far and wide. And the text of the petition, you will see, well summarizes what you heard Julian Assange telling us just a few minutes ago and Zrechko before him. That field is empty. We need a first signature to start the petition. I see Yanis is doing something. Now everybody is going to try and get Yanis's email to send you heartfelt emoticons. <laughs> Olga, this is the first signature, is it? This is exactly the first signature. And when can everybody start signing this petition? Right after Yanis has signed, you right. can all start. Um, the petition is live, it's available in different languages. Um, and, and there boom. we go. Number one. <laughs> well, now it's up to you to go and sign it. You can start now from your mobile phones or maybe at home as soon as you get home tonight, but not later than that, please. 